Wow. Uh, hi. Boy, I'm glad there's only one person here because I'm, God, I'm bad at intros. Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're the one person. Hi, Lance McGrim. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, tonight we're, uh, we're doing something different. Uh, I, I bought a new game and I've been kind of obsessed with it. So instead of having a little consistency in uh in our lives i'm uh i'm doing something different but first i have to actually change the scene and make sure everything works because we're doing a thing oh yeah we're doing a we're doing a we're doing a donation drive for uh queers fight transphobia okay because uh because it's june happy pride month everyone rip breaker's fun can't argue with that it is fun but yeah uh <laughs> Jay's the Jay's the bun with the plan here, uh, as far as uh, this goes. But I do know that if you type exclamation point donate into chat, you get a little link which will show you how to donate, and I think that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be around soon. I uh, I haven't heard from him, so if not, that's okay. I can handle this. I just need to press the correct button combo. There we go. Hey, it worked.
Hopefully this isn't too quiet. I might have to adjust this. Let's see, game audio is in the green. I guess that's okay. Let me know if it's too quiet. I can always bump it up a little bit. So what is this game? This is... Um, I, I explained this very badly last night, where if Factorio is at zero on the line graph, and Satisfactory was on one side of Factorio, this game would be on the polar opposite side. Which doesn't mean that it's a bad game, which is kind of what it came off as, but rather that this is a game about uh, mostly base defense and uh, defending yourself against hostile aliens. And not so much about... Not so much about uh, base building. The logistics in this game are very easy. I, I build mines over their stuff. They, they, they automatically put themselves into my inventory. A new technology has been developed. I just gotta, I just gotta connect everything with power lines, and defend myself from the uh, the attacks that come every once in a while. Speaking of creatures, so this has been kind of a hot spot. So I already got some turrets set up here, but this is also uh, a pretty heavily uh, story-based game. So, story is uh, we are scouting out a planet a good 20,000 light years from Earth or so, using what's called Rift technology, which is basically we teleport here and now we're kind of stuck until we build a Rift portal to get back home. But I mean, that was the point. The whole point is to send someone here with a, with a, with a mech that can kind of self-replicate uh, stuff and build a factory and kind of scout out this planet uh, build up the technology needed to kind of industrialize it a little bit, and then create a rift portal to get back home and uh, start up colonization. So you know what? I got a little bit of time here, so let's uh, let's head back. This is my this is my primary base so far. Oh yeah, I could have teleported. I <laughs> I'm an idiot. This is our uh, this is our main hub. I can teleport here from anywhere else. Um, and over here is the rift, which uh, is currently in construction. I need to build several things for this, and also have a large amount of power. So we're not there yet. I can teleport anywhere. I've got these little things. I, for a long time, I thought you could only build like one of these, but no, you can build teleporters like anywhere, and they're free. You don't even need to power them. It's great. And if you teleport from anywhere else, it leaves a little mini teleporter where you can come back to. StarCraft Vibes, yeah, absolutely. Very, very much so, actually. This has uh, very strong uh, Terran versus Zerg vibes, as we'll see in a moment here as we get attacked. Yay, friends. I should build more stairs. Oh, there's the artillery. Actually, I should be building a pair tower. Oh, they brought rocks! Too bad. Do you like some scotch on the rocks for your opening drink? You know, that's probably not a bad idea. Maybe I should get a little uh, buzzed beforehand. Last time I was released on a game, I got locked because of an issue with the rift. The timer hit zero, but nothing happened. Oh no. Yeah, I actually picked this game up because uh, it's on sale right now because there is some DLC coming out and a free update, I believe. 
So it's uh, it's on the cheap right now. Well, relatively speaking, like 25% off. Wee. Uh, but yes, as I said, this is pretty heavily story based. Um, you start out with, I mean, this is you know, this is an alien planet, so you don't really know what to expect. So your your mech is a little kind of under prepared for the the adventure here. So we've actually got to uh, right now we've got several objectives. So primary objective is of course construct the rift station and return to Earth, which requires three things. But we also need to scout out some other areas to find more resources. So right now I am mining carbonium, which I guess is coal, and ironium, which I guess is just iron. <clears throat> Those are our basic uh, materials. Uh, I need to be mining some cobalt, which I've got a small node up here to the north that I could maybe do something with. Uh, but there's also an extra area down here where I could set up cobalt mining. I actually went here and set up a base before realizing I didn't have the technology to actually mine cobalt. So uh, we could do that right now, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with... I mean, I know of Dune 2 and Dune 2000, but I've never played them. Is it for uh, similar in the sense that... Uh, like like in appearance, or how it works overall? Because I know uh, I've gotten to the point where I can make flooring that protects me from uh, acid and whatnot. So this is my tiny little base. Not even any walls yet. So supposedly I can build something like eight or nine of these little uh, outpost. God damn it! <laughs> we have to defend our base. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, it's actually really easy to build. I'm kind of in a weird mentality uh, that that I think is holding me back, or it's like I think of walls and stuff as being really expensive when they're actually not. They're super easy to build. Ores are limited, so uh, I need to be continuously expanding to get more carbonium and ironium, so it would probably be a good idea to get them here too. Walls are just uh, carbonium, so it's, it's super easy to build these things. And I can just uh, sell these really easy and relocate them. <clears throat> In the upper right, you can see uh, here the little uh, microchip. That's how many AI cores I have. Uh, I can't just spam uh, these uh, these centuries. Each one requires an AI core, and I can build more, but that takes energy, so it's kind of a, a feedback loop. And let's see, I like doing an artillery tower. Why didn't this build? Oh my god couple of sentinel towers, which are the basic ones, and you know what? Danger. Enemy creatures are oh, I'm taking too long, okay. Put that up with power, and I'm gonna have some friends over here too, it looks like. Oh, I've already got some friends! Oh my god, hi! <laughs> Oh, I don't have power set up. Oh god. Why aren't you powered? Oh my god. 
Ooh, purple. That must be good. Repairing is really easy to do. As far as I know, it's free. You can just hover over it and repair really easily. All right, that seemed to have uh, worked nicely. Oh, wow, that worked very well. Barely even damaged the walls. No, no. Pl oh, well, place it. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. Appearance only doing you place concrete to stop structures degrading on the rocks. This game you stated you get it for the corrosion defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, um, this is basically the tropical zone. I'm just basically here to get cobalt. Not much of anything else except for, like, basic resources. But, uh, apparently other areas, like there's, uh, there's a desert area where I can get uranium. And, uh, there's, like, a volcanic area that I can get some other, like, tanzanite or something. So, uh, let's see. I haven't actually built these types down? yet. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Uh, here we go. Rare element mine. Just pop a couple of those down. It's hard to see anything in this fog. Yeah, my energy primarily comes from right now uh, renewable sources like. Uh, Wind, solar, and geothermal. I just got a geothermal here since I happen to start near one. Oh, you know what? I need to be researching stuff. Let's see. Ooh, what do we got next? I just researched level four headquarters. Resource synthesizers. Oh, that might be good. Wow, it's like I'm really playing Supreme Commander. Oh, solid material storage. Yeah, definitely get that. <clears throat> So my my resources, my solid resources are global. So I'm still getting uh, resources from my headquarters base. I'm getting plus 10 carbonium per second. But uh, obviously energy uh, storage is local only since those require uh, power cables. But yeah, like I said, um, fog like this will reduce our solar and uh, wind power. Uh, storms will reduce our... Uh, Solar to zero, but we'll overcharge our, our wind power by quite a bit. And occasionally stuff like this will pop up where it's like, okay, now there's a huge creature, and as long as it's alive, uh, enemies will be whoops, sent out at regular intervals. But I'm kind of in a good spot with this right here, so I think I will... Just plop down a repair tower and let that take care of itself. Uh, did I forget to power this or is it still building? It's still building! Oh, these take a while. Let's see. We've only got one geothermal nearby. Oh yeah, I need to build some radars. Fog is clearing up. This will make things easier for us. Cobalt mining is moving forward. This location is very rich in resources. We can also set up additional carbonium and ironium factories. Remember that we don't have to build everything at once. We can freely rip jump between outposts and return here later if we need to expand our mining operations. Right you are. Uh, oh, we need power bad. Okay, let's see here. I guess uh, some standard wind and solar will be good. We also need storage, too. Let's see. Wind turbine. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. Should go there and clear it out. And then some energy storage to go along with that. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> anyway, um, what I was doing earlier was uh, I was scanning, and uh, certain plants and animals will have a green aura around them, which means you can scan them. <clears throat> and as you scan more and more, you get greater familiar familiarity with them. Uh, which means for animals that it makes the... I think it makes them easier to kill. Uh, you can also sometimes get DNA from drops after you kill them, but this is usually more reliable. Albeit a little harder to aim. What are you doing over here? Oh, you know what? I forgot to upgrade my sentinels. Let's do that. Oh yeah, there's some DNA right there. Yes, I believe uh, killing enem or uh, getting familiarity with en uh, enemies lets you kill them easier. Actually, let me check. Let's see, arachnoid familiarity level two, alien biomass and ironium. Oh, it'll show you their resistances too, I guess, and their vulnerabilities. That's nice. Uh, but what's really interesting, actually, is uh, familiarity with plants. Because uh, plants will drop certain resources. Like this one drops carbonium and plant biomass. And if I had the energy to spare and some water, I could set up a cultivating and harvesting station, which would basically just plant those and then harvest them and get me resources. Which I think is pretty cool. Speaking of resources... A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. <laughs> Speaking of resources... I could also build a plant and animal biomass generator, which are really cool because um, as I go around just like punching trees or whatever, I can get uh, biomass that basically turns into bonus energy because this thing won't activate unless I have a, uh, 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 you know, a, what's the word I want? <laughs> You, you know what I mean? When, when, when I'm when I'm using more than I'm than I'm gaining, this will turn on. Otherwise, uh, well, maybe it is working. I don't know. Whatever. But it makes it neat so that like killing animals, killing enemies, and and punching trees gets you a little bonus energy that just automatically works. You don't have to like go and like put it into anything, which you know, that's that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna do an animal and a plant. Animals were 200 energy per second, planter worth 100. They are intensifying over oh, time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. It's not an earthquake if we're not on Earth. The earthquake's epicenter is near our position. Oh, look at this, it's breaking it everything. Serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Including me. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Base is under attack. Oh, I can't place anything in the oh in the epicenter while it's active. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, actually, Lance. Um, so we got basic like 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 base uh stuff like as in like you know our base like buildings and whatnot. Uh, we got personal equipment, like uh, weapons and tools. And then we have the alien tab here, which um, a lot of it is locked off by uh, campaign triggers. But uh, yeah, scanning stuff does give us options. Like, uh, I had a yeah, corrosive gun that I got from scanning some stuff over in the volcanic area. Uh, did I? Uh, yeah, I'm not researching any. Oh yeah, solid material storage. There we go. Yeah, I am researching something. Oh, there's a uh, there's a nest like right here. <clears throat> Did that explode? Oh my god! Maybe I should have left that repair station up. Now ah, whatever, it'll sort itself out. Yeah, the uh, the personal weapon system is actually really cool. Seismic activity is decreasing. So right now I got I got this power fist which uh, heals me by like one HP whenever I hit something. It's not that important, but I mean it does a good amount of damage. Uh, I got a shotgun here which I can charge to focus, otherwise it just goes out in a cone. And I got a rocket launcher. 
And uh, you can see I got like 49 out of 50 shots, 48, 47. But that'll recharge over time because I have an armory back in my headquarters which recharges this stuff. And also uh, little storage containers which store extra ammo for me. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We Jesus should go there Christ. and clear it out. Yeah, okay, I'm working on it. Yeah, I guess I should mention, the uh, the female voice is you, uh, Ashley something, I forget the last name. And uh, the the robotic voice is your mech, who is uh, sentient and is named Mr. Riggs because his actual name is very long. So you can see I'm starting to get low on shotgun now because I'm using it a lot. When I'll get low, I'll switch to the rocket launcher and uh, let the uh, shotgun ammo recharge. Yeah, it's a very forgiving system. I can basically craft new weapons and uh, components at any time from anywhere and just automatically have it equipped and it's... I don't have to go anywhere, but I do need, like, the actual building to build it, but I don't need to be at the building to equip it or build it, which is really nice. <clears throat> well, so yeah, there we got, we, got a, we, got a, we got a big dude here. So I got a little healing thing, but it has a long cooldown. So I gotta kind of be careful for a little bit. If I die, uh, I'll get reconstituted at the the base. But I'll drop whatever weapon I'm wielding. But I mean, I can just build another one for like a couple hundred carbonium and ironium, so it's not a big deal. Something important after researching it in a lab. Sci-fi path of exile. Um, not really. This is more of a factorial clone with uh, action RPG elements. Oh yeah, now I can actually plug these in. <clears throat> oh yeah, I also need to upgrade these. So upgrading them doesn't make them go any faster, I don't think, but it does use like half as much resources, so resources last longer, which is important because they're finite. Uh, oh shit, we got a big attack incoming. Uh, big, 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 okay, well, I need to build more AI cores. Da -da 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 -da. Okie dokie, that'll probably be coming from over here. Let's get two sentinel towers and an artillery. Uh, upgrade, there we go. Oh! Yee! I, it made a noise. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, get out of the way. Oh my god, just settle down. This isn't even the attack, this is just like the guys that were hanging around nearby. Okay, uh, oh, I want that. Yes. I can't really scan through fences. Oh, well thank you, Six! <laughs> now I know what that sounds like. An aggressive horde has entered the area. Oh my god. Less than a minute away from destruction. Okay, okay, okay. Um I, I still got I guess still got space for, for more. Uh let's let's go with rocket towers. Oh, this isn't powered. Uh, I can't help but notice it's not actually showing how much cobalt I'm getting per second. Is under it is going up, but it's not showing. Alright, this is the strongest one, so I'll hang out here. Or I guess not! Oh my god, okay, uh, shit, okay, drop down a rip portal, okay. I should focus on putting some floors in here too. Oh my god! Christ, guys, settle down. A tower has been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the big guns. Okay. Oh my God. You took out my cobalt mining, you motherfuckers. Buildings have been destroyed. An energy connector has been destroyed. What about walls has been destroyed? Base is under attack. Alright, I, I need to not fuck around here. I need to actually, like, get some serious defenses going. Uh, a little research don't want if I do. Look at this mess. God. I got Nickelodeon slime everywhere. They took out all my mining and all my towers. Oh my god. Wait, are you still alive? You're still alive. Okay. Oh, this is fun actually. This is a lot of fun. I've been uh <laughs> I, I, I had to I had to really struggle to uh not play this game today so I could save my <laughs> energy for 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 stream the wind is very okay. slow today the wind is very slow today flamer tower i mean that's assuming they're attacking here again which they might not all right i've got level 2 sentinels which are the basic like laser guns but uh, nothing else. You know what? Let's see if we actually have any research for better stuff. Hey, we got solid metal material. That's good. Uh, let's see. Defense. Yeah, I have level two. We'll get level two. Basic wall level two. That's good. Energy storage. Ooh, better G Oh, better. Okay. Uh, ooh. Yeah, uh, I want both of these. Oh, that takes a while, though. That's 11 and 13 minutes. Better ammo storage. Better liquid material, which isn't important right now. And this, I, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it requires stuff we don't have. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, I could get this. 
which would let me get better personal weapons. Now that I have level 4 base building, I can increase the armory level. <clears throat> you did a whole lot of nothing today, waiting for your neighbor to text you to come over and help her, and that never happens, so I'm just tired now. Uh, you know, that, that's the worst, actually, is when you're, like, all gung-ho about doing something. It's like, okay, I'm mentally preparing myself for the job ahead. And it's like, oh, it never happened. Okay. What is this? That's a gate. Okay. Yeah, if we get more AI cores, then we can get more towers. <clears throat> and we need to upgrade these. Ugh. Get our cobalt again. Dig, 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 dig. Rare element mine. I can't even. S oh, okay. Uh, there's little icons here. Oops. Uh, da, 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 da. Get a gate going so I can get out of here. If need be. <clears throat> I can see it's Luke powered once this is done. What are these? This is a sentinel, sentinel. Okay, let's get a artillery, a flamer, a couple of rockets, and sentinels. Oh, I guess I got an upgrade tool, don't I? I should be using that. What is that? G. Wind is picking up again. Okay. All right, that means more. Oh, that means more energy, which is good because I actually don't have any. <clears throat> or no, I did. I just I had a lot of storage. I just okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Um, hop a da ba da. Hop a da ba dee. Let's lay down some. F you know what? Let's actually lay down some rift portals so I can get to the corners of the base quicker. The only real thing that requires logistics that I've seen so far is uh, liquids, <clears throat> and it's very forgiving. Like, you see this uh, this geothermal power plant has an output for mud because it generates mud. Uh, if this were satisfactory, if you had like filled up with mud and didn't do anything with it, the you know the thing would stop working. But here it's just like no, there's just mud. You can you can get it out if you want, but you know it's not necessary. So I can just take that mud and I can filter, filter it into water and I can do stuff with the, the water, you know, if I want to, but I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to, like, you know, sink it or make it into something else like you do with uh, crude oil in Satisfactory. Which, you know, is part of the fun is dealing with the logistics of stuff, but, you know, this is kind of an action game with... So the focus isn't really on that, so um, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh no, the poor little neutral friendly buddies in my base don't have anywhere to go now that I paved over their paradise.
Yeah, all this, and I'm still at like max carbonium. It, it's really cheap to do this. It just takes a little while. There we go. Heal up. And... Let's head back to... Let's head back to main base and upgrade our storage. right here. Let's see, what'll this take? Just 200 carbonium. Wow, it doesn't even take power or anything cool. Hey, Purple, how's it going? I think that's everything upgraded. Unless I was stupid and built something off in a corner somewhere, which, uh, you know, I usually do. Oh, yeah, I had this... I had this grand plan of using uh, harvesters and cultivators to get plant mass, biomass to the power of biomass plant. But uh, it turns out you spend just as much energy running the thing as you do uh, getting out of a, a power plant, so it's not worth it. So geothermal it is, although eventually we'll be able to get... Uh, We'll be able to get nuclear. Wow, that actually, uh, that costs a lot of carbonium to do that. I went from 6,000 down to 2,000. But I guess it's kind of exacerbated by the fact that I have, like, twice as much storage now. <clears throat> so that's, that's good. And I'm making a good bit, although I'll have to expand eventually. Oh yeah, here's my, uh, my cobalt farm. These crystals, uh, give you cobalt. So I've been harvesting them and cultivating them. That gets me almost one cobalt per second, plus one carbonium per second, and one ironium per second. Yeah, okay, yeah, this setup takes 200 energy per second, so... <laughs> and it only gets me, like... If I do this right, it gives me, like, one or two plants bi biomass per second, which would get me exactly as much as I spent, so... Not worth it. <clears throat> Uh, let's see what other missions we have. Stregoros Nest. Orbital scanning detected a probable breeding area of the Stregoros species within the radioactive desert. We can rift jump to that location to learn more about these peculiar creatures. Researching more information about the species will help us to better adapt the harsh environment of this biome. I think I properly researched heat and radiation resistance. I guess we'll find out. I don't think I need to craft and equip anything. I think that just works. So these missions play out a little more like a uh, an ARPG. I guess you could build a base here, but there's very few resources, so there's not really any point to it. <clears throat> Rift jump successful. Dust storm incoming. Prepare for severe visibility reduction. 
This Dregoros breeding area is located in a narrow, rocky valley. Its layout works like a large wind tunnel and creates an almost constant dust storm. It is going to be difficult to fight these creatures in these conditions. We can gather research samples in a more effective way using the bioscanner. Yes, the bioscanner is going to be much better than any weaponry here. We can use it to scan these creatures from afar without making them aggressive. It is also much quicker at finding good research samples. The problem with that is that I kind of have to be close enough for them to aggro on me. And if they aggro on me, then I can't scan them because I need to like focus on them for three seconds. If I lose focus at all, it cancels. an actual rock or an enemy? I think it's an enemy. <laughs> hey, buddy! Oh, yeah, these are the guys that uh, have armor plating. My fist just bounced off them. Oh, that's a lot of red on the radar. Hey guys. <clears throat> I should maybe craft a flamethrower, but uh on paper, it doesn't look like it's very good. A new technology has been developed. But new you know what? Are available for construction. Since Mission I completed. can do that. Yeah, let me show you here. <clears throat> so, uh, rocket launcher. Here's what I'm using. DPS 220 to 299. Flamethrower 30 to 35. Like, that That seems kind of bad. I mean, granted, over six seconds, that works out, I guess, but... Oh, you know what? It's cheap. I'll just craft it just to see. Crafting completed. Put it in slot number three here. And I just have it now. Oop, you weren't hostile. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, oh I feel bad. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, uh, the plot here is kind of funny in the sense that, uh, Ashley is a research scientist, and so she's all about, like, oh, we need to study these creatures, and then Mr. Riggs is like, oh, we, no, we need to, we need to build the rift gate, you need to kill stuff. Oh, it's, that's way down there. Yeah, okay, I'll go down there. Maybe that's the real reason why there are so many of these creatures in this area. Let's investigate this. Please don't notice me. Uh, well, this works on them at least. They're not inherently resistant to it. Oh, I really should build that corrosive gun, actually. Ah, uh, shit, I can do that right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, corrosive gun. Ooh. If that's per... Oh, yeah, that's actually... Yeah, that could be good. Okay, yeah, definitely do that. 12 minutes? Yeah, whatever. It'll probably take that long to get through here. Oops. 
Oh oh! Does it really count as new species discovered if I already scanned it once? Oh! As usual, running up to something and punching it in the ass is uh, generally the best course of action. Bulbus Pyrum Fervus. <clears throat> One of these, in fact, I'll, I'll bet you anything, this uh, green crystal will give me uranium if I cultivate it. Oop. So it's just like Dark Souls? Uh, yeah. Only, I, I only drop my weapon and not everything I've gathered. So, uh, it's not that bad. Oh, stretch, huh? Okay. No, stop. There we go. Okay. I want to scan you, I want to scan you, I want to scan you, I want to scan you. Yes, no. Well, I stand corrected. The flamethrower works great for small enemies. They're like, they're like kobolds if you, if you visited our stream last night. Where, you know, you just gotta, you know, they only have five hit points or something like that, so. Or two or one, I don't remember. So these, uh, I don't know what these are. You, you basically uh, use them, but they summon like a large horde of enemies, but then you get like a prize. Like I've gotten a statue, I've gotten a technology I can't actually build yet because I don't have the right materials. God damn, these guys are sticky. Oh boy. Oh boy! Let's try that again.
Oh! I should be using my radar more often. Also, my mines and grenades, which I also have. Species is fascinating. Its carapace is built from an incredibly strong and light form of carbochitinous plating. It's perfect for these sandy deserts, as it allows these creatures to move quickly over quicksand despite their mass. We've gathered enough samples to start researching new technology that will enable us to place special floor tiles over quicksand that will prevent our buildings from sinking. So yeah, I guess these missions are basically uh, getting you the technology you need to actually build bases in areas like this. So I already got the technology that protects me personally from radiation and solar uh, flares. And now I've got the stuff that protects my buildings. Oh yeah, I forgot to see what I actually got from that last, uh, anomaly. Well, try again, I guess. Dash, fire, award plus one. So I already got dash cryo, which leaves a trail of cold behind me, but I can't build it yet. I assume this is just the fire equivalent. Hello, guys. This will probably be a boss or something. Usually is. Oh, hi. No species. No species. Yep, yep, there's a big old skull there. Oh, hey, this one's on fire! What an amazing natural adaptation.
Oh, there's oh, there's like three of them. Oh god. You know, what? I should actually. Is this done? Okay, it's got another two minutes left. I should actually take a look at uh, what these are vulnerable to. Is that them? I forget what they're called. <laughs> oh, here they are. Uh, we don't know what their vulnerabilities are yet. I would guess corrosive. Oops! Oh no, trees. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be a good field researcher, but I'm 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 bad. I keep destroying things. Really? I can't scan you? Well, I don't think a flamethrower is going to be much use against this guy. How about a shotgun? Oh, you resist that, do you? Okay. Can I scan any of you? Oh, why am I going into areas I haven't explored yet? Why am I so stupid? No. <laughs> There will be consequences. Any more points of interest in this area? We can rip jump back to base as soon as you are ready. Really? I don't need to kill the rest of them? You sure? I'm gonna, just because I can. Okay, oh good. Alright, thank you. Okay, uh let's see here. Corrosive gun. Really? It, that's all it takes? Okay, craft it. Crafting completed. Place the flamethrower with a corrosive gun. Equip it. Here we go. Oh, it's like the uh, the bio rifle from Unreal Tournament. I hate that gun. Oh, let's eat Sue Ammo quick. I, I need to research the next level of the armory. So that I can get better weapons. Overall. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, Rook. How are things? Oh, I can scan you. <laughs> well, you could, uh, 
you could you could you could watch me play games that no one else has heard of except for like one other person in chat apparently. Elden Ring, everyone's played that. No, let's watch Zombie Cat play the Rift Breaker. No one's heard of that game. Unless they watch like I'm Kibitz or something. Oh, we did it. Oh look at the oh look at the little bottom feeders. Hey guys, yeah, you go you go go eat your little rock meal. Oh, here you go. Wait, th was this actually something? Can I pick that up? No, I can't. That was that's, that's what everyone says. Yeah, this does look like StarCraft. This is just like a slightly zoomed in Terran Marine, all by his lonesome. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna see what this uh, little doodad is here, and we can GTFO. Oh, they literally spawn out of nowhere. Oh, that's freaky. Despite having a much higher DPS, this seems to be doing worse than the flamethrower. Ah. Steel award plus one. Oh, maybe that's. Ooh, maybe is that is that a different look? I haven't unlocked any new skins yet. Maybe that's a, that's what that is. No, okay, you know what? I've had just about enough of everything. <clears throat> Hold alt while low building to automatically build the highest level. Okay, that's good to know. Remember that. And remind me if I forget. Oh, my brain chat. Why is it always nighttime? I should build more lamps, but that's work. Uh, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do? Oh, yeah. Uh, appearance. Ooh! Oh, it just cycles. Uh, I feel like green would blend in too badly, so let's go with steel, yes. Uh, what are we researching? Armory, level two. I'll wait until that finishes and then see what uh, stuff we can build with it. Oh, there's a big crystal. Well, I can already plant it, so what does that get me? I probably should have looked at what it was actually called before I went into the uh, files here. That must be it right there. This kind of crystal information could be found in various places on Galatia 37. Why 37? Are there 37 planets in the solar system? At least? That's a lot. Its deep, dark color combined with a highly reflective surface makes it a wonder to behold. Vitreous Pura often houses veins of other crystals and resources that are only uncovered after breaking the outer shell. I love that we can just grow these things. Oh hey, here's the one that I was looking at. I bet that drops uranium. This one drops tanzanite? No. Rhodonite. Huh, cool. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, we can upgrade our AI cores, but we are only just barely ahead of the game as far as energy production. Oh, it takes too long to research stuff, which I could actually fix by upgrading things, but... <laughs> Let's see, I need another communication hub to do that, right? This is an orbital scanner, let's see. 
communication hub. That takes another 50 energy, but that's that's fine. But that takes 10 minutes to build! Everything takes forever! Everything takes forever. Everything takes forever. There's like a tiny little bit left. 2,000 left. Oops. Well, I'll have to move some stuff here. So, material storage. Let's practice holding down alt. Oh, that makes it bigger. Wow. A new technology has been developed. New <gasps> buildings are available for construction. New Research building completed. Armory level two. Tower ammunition handling. All right, what do we got here? We got repair towers level two, flamer level two, plas. Ooh, plasma towers. Uh, radar level two. Oh, it records uranium. Gross. Uh, didn't actually give me much. Looks like some stuff is... Oh, that's just the next level. Sentinel Tower level 3, which requires tower ammunition handling. Okay. Wait, I'm on the wrong tab. This, <laughs> this is what I was looking for. Uh, sword, advanced. Liquid weapons, advanced. Energy weapons, advanced. Plasma gun. Cool. High caliber weapons. Burst rifle, high caliber rifle. Oh, yeah. Swood. That's just the same? I guess it's got a mod slot, which makes it better. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's got a mod slot. I haven't unlocked any mods yet, or that I'm aware of, at least. Small machine gun! Look at the radar! Look at the DPS! Holy shit. Oh, that looks really good. That's ten minutes, though. Oh, man. Mech repair advanced. Small mine. Power jump. Emergency explosion, that sounds dangerous. Uh new blueprints are available mm. for crafting. Hey Fox! Hi Kanehurst. Hi Fox Kanehurst. How's it going? Can I build more research stations? Cryo station. Oh that's oh yeah, this is what I need for the uh the hot areas. Okay, I can only build one laboratory. It's going how am I? Oh, I'm good. I'm just uh I'm just breaking those rifts. Oh, I gotta upgrade it again. Okay. Well upgrading this caused the horde to attack. That'll lose me one carbonium one on my Ironian per second. But it'll produce ammo faster. I think that's worth it. Oh, right, I'm stupid. Uh, I need to be focusing on energy production. Let's see. Uh, where's Mark II energy? There it is. Oh, geothe Oh, that ta takes titanium? Well, at least I can do these. That's just carbonium. That's easy. We got wrecked early on. Yeah, um, this requires a very particular mindset. Uh, I'm coming from, like, Factorio and Satisfactory, where it's like, oh, no, I can't expand too fast because I need more stuff. And then it turns out, oh, everything is, like, super cheap. Like, I don't have enough towers? Well, that's because I don't have enough AI cores. 
I don't have enough AR cores? Well, that's because I don't have enough power. I don't have enough power? Well, that's because I don't have enough carbonium. And it's like, well, just build more of this, and you can build, like, shitloads of everything else. And it's really easy. And, oh, hey, speaking of AI cores, I can upgrade these now. That just takes a little bit extra power, which I'm going to make up for real quickly. So, um... Uh, fast-moving objects across the sky. Oh. It's a meteor shower. Prepare for bombardment. Okay. I might have overextended here. That might take a lot of power. Oh well. These rocks can do some serious damage. Ow! Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh, it's attacking everything. No. What's happening? No. <laughs> Why can it do that? Are you sure? I don't know if I'm sure of anything anymore. Oh no. Jesus Christ. No. Oh. Oh, they don't do much. That's good. Are you sure this isn't StarCraft? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know the siege tanks are attacking from, from somewhere off screen. <laughs> oh my god. Settle down. I'm not tracking any more meteors. That was intense. Danger is over. You almost broke my pipes. I need those. Ooh, actually, you know what? Those are very precise random meteor strikes. This is like StarCraft if you were like turtling the entire time. This is like, this is, this is, this is fun loner StarCraft. It's like, I don't want to fight people, I just want to make a cool base and protect against the attacks. Oh man, I can build better walls now too. That's gonna be. I mean, I'm probably. I, I'm sure I probably have the resources to do that. It's just it would take a while to upgrade everything. Actually, can I? No, I. I, I was hoping I could uh, increase the cursor size on this, but like I can with floors. But apparently that's not a thing. Oh well. But we're still making a surplus of energy. That's good. Oh, I just noticed there's little twos on top of the AI cores. Why can't there be twos on top of the material storage? That would have been neat. Why is there a red icon down here? What is that? Oh, it's out! Oh no. There we go, I should cover that till it goes dry. Let's see. Oh! You broke a tooth eating an apple? Oh, that's unfortunate. I, uh, I, I cracked a tooth chewing on a aluminum can once. A soda can. You wouldn't think aluminum is hard enough to break enamel, but apparently it is. I think I have uh, another communication hub in another area that I probably need to upgrade. But... Are you Morbin, son? I sure am, Dad. Thanks for asking.
You know, I don't... I don't even... I don't even understand. Like, apparently Morbius is about a vampire or something. But it's like, no one actually knows what the movie's about because no one wants to actually watch it. Your guy? Who? Johnny Depp? Or... <laughs> Someone else. Is it actually a Marvel movie? A new technology has been developed. Wow. Research completed. Oh boys, solar and wind and geothermal. Uh oh, energy storage mark two, hell yeah. New buildings are available for construction. Michael Morbius might be involved. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw a post that someone was calling him Michael Morbius, and someone else was like, I, I can't believe, like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. And they were like, no, that's, that's literally his name, Michael Morbius. And they were like, oh, shit. <gasps> Geothermal. What does this get me? Why can't I upgrade? Oh, I need titanium. That's right. All right. I already ruled that out. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, it'll just have to be wind and solar for now, then. Oh, it's not a Marvel movie. It's a Sony movie. So, so what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Thanks for clipping that. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, apparently I don't get power from those while I upgrade them. That's good to know. It's like how Venom is in the Marvel movie. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's technically, it's a Marvel character, but it's not a Marvel movie. I get you. Well, that's actually, I didn't realize that. I, I... But does that mean that that, like, joke picture is real? The one where it's, like, uh, Namor, the the submariner, going, Don't morb! And then Morbius goes, Fool! Morbius morbs as he pleases! Is that real? Everything is broken. Warning! A large group of creatures is gathering near our base. No! Prepare for an incoming attack. Motherfuckers. Oh, they're in the center too. Uh-oh. Okay, well, uh, hang on. Get everything nice and orderly here. That's a redraw of Doom Toots as he pleases. Oh. Okay. <laughs> La 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 la. Alright, I'm just gonna assume they're gonna come straight north, so uh, let's see here. Level 2 Sentinel Towers. Flamer Tower. Rocket Tower. And a door. Oh, uh, shit. I don't actually know about this one, though. That might be a problem. Okay, they can't get there from here, so they'll have to either go left or up. Uh, I guess I'll deal with that when it arises, because I got plenty of AI cores.
Danger! An aggressive horde has entered the area. It is less than a minute away. It is less than a minute away. Oh, look how smooth those are. Oh. Hey, it's a big guy. Why are you going over here? I mean, I know why, because there's... Just... There we go. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, cross the board. All right. Pair tower will take care of that. Let's see. Oh, not DNA. Alright, this probably needs some more defenses. Well, I got plenty to go around. Repair towers take AI cores too, so you can't just spam them. And this lost power. Oh my god, they got in. Well, I mean, that's still good. Now then, how much does this cost? That's ten carbonium. Let's uh I mean the well, wind is picking up speed. Don't sound so worried. These strong winds can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. Crazy. Research. <gasps> Energy store. Oh, I gotta do that right now while we got uh, high winds going. Uh, let's see. Ooh, plasma towers. Zygons. Biomass energy level two. That's good. Oh, then there's carbonium energy. These are kind of garbage. You put them on carbonium and they generate like a little bit of energy. But it's like, I need carbonium for building. Why would I use it for power? Like, it's not even that much power. It's like 50 for a level 1, and I can get 100 out of a plant biomass building. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Uh, you know what? A better radar might be good. It's only... Oh, 12 minutes! Oh, never mind. Oh, God, that's a while. Okay, whatever. I just love this sound. Never gets old. The total because everyone because we're re releasing money all month with with everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I forgot if I said it before, but uh, yeah, happy Pride Month, everyone. Why is this tower out in the open? Oh my God, what is that artillery? Okay.
be good. They still work while they're being upgraded. Uh, where's the other energy storage? There's some here. Oh, this is barely cutting into my carbonium at all. That's good. Hey, Mr. Greenface, how's it going? The wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. Oh, I was too slow. Oh, well. I think that might be all the storage I have. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Oh, what did I get, actually? I forgot. Uh, oh, yeah, radar, level two. That'll be useful. Okay, I guess... 33 minutes? What is even is this thing? Stabilize the big... Oh, okay, this is one of the big pieces I need to actually build the rift portal. All right, well, that's not important right now, because I can't even... I can't even build it. So, don't worry about that. Fights of Towers, Flamer Towers. 41 minutes! Jesus Christ, this is getting out of hand. Alright, what else we got? <laughs> uh, I got a bunch of alien stuff. Oh, alien research level 2. That'll be nice, actually. Cryogenic atomizer. Cryogenic mine. Swarm missiles! Cool, I guess. Nuclear missile. If I had uranium, that might mean something. Oh, extra stable floor. Oh, that's for quicksand. Okay, well, might as well get that out of the way. Except for this. There. Well, that's all that taken care of. We've upgraded our storage, upgraded our renewable power, upgraded our storage. More storage. Haven't researched that yet. Uh, I guess uh, I need to go on a mission. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Gather uranium ore samples. We detect a new area with the desert biome that could potentially gain higher condensation or radioactive materials. You mean of? Whatever. Go there to search for uranium ore samples for further research. Can I rename this? I thought it was called uh, Cobalt Outpost. That doesn't really tell me much. I guess I could gather it from that, but... Threat level high. Let's gather some uranium. Because if we do that, maybe we could build nuclear power plants. We don't have to worry about the sun going out anymore. Hmm. These crystals aren't they Our neat? Job successful. I am detecting a very high background radiation in this area. It is dangerously close to the safety limit of my honor. Good. 
This means that we really are onto something. I don't expect to find uranium rods lying around. Let's use the geoscanner to search for some ore. These green crystals are emitting a lot of gamma radiation. Try not to stand too close to them, or they will damage my armor. <laughs> well, like this? No, that's fine. What do we got? Oh yeah, stable floor. Uh, shit, what did I say we needed? Uh, extra defense, that's good. Extra ammo. Fluid handling, not important right now. Resource synthesizers, not important. Oh yeah, small machine gun, that looks good. It only takes two minutes? Hell yeah. Increase my familiarity, I might be able to grow these myself. Uh, not yet. Unless that's something else. That's not a plant. I guess it's this mineral? It just makes it look like it's a list, like it's a list of list of things. We don't know what they are. Vitreus and Plexus Virtus. Oops. That's different. That's not something else. Oh, uh, oh, it's, <laughs> that's not fair. I didn't recognize it. Uh, yeah, this will get us uranium. Cool. That's not your radium. Getting any good results by searching for uranium this way. This is tedious. 
Oh, here it comes. Is there any kind of, like, radioactive material that's actually green? Because, like, uranium is, like, yellow, right? And, like, plutonium is gray. And, and Sharonkov radiation is blue. I don't think there's any, like, green, is there? Research completed. Small machine gun. Oh, yeah, I gotta try that out right now. Small machine gun. Wow, still only needing basic stuff. That's that's cool. It's got mod slots. Yes. Crafting completed. Let's replace our shotgun, which technically has a lower DPS, but not by much. Oh, oh, damage, ammo cost, rate of fire, critical chance, damage over time. Hit points gain per hit? Oh, yeah. This is just, uh, do I slot this in or? Oh, equip, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Cool, 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 cool. That's still a shotgun. I didn't actually equip it. Okay, um. <laughs> Jesus. Small machine gun. Equip. There it is, okay. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh wee! It's sort of healing me. Uh, that's probably not actually worth it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else can we put on this? Hit points gain per hit? Is that what I have a qu like? Oh, I have to enable it, and then I... Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I can just do a straight-up damage increase. Yeah, I, I guess I'll do that. How much damage over time is that? Does it say? Two per second? Oh, that's garbage. Yeah, okay, let's just do this. Ooh, gives a different uh, projectile look. That's cool. Yeah, these guys still resist it, though. Before it worked. There we go. Ooh. The technology queue is idle. Select new technology for it? development. Oops, my bad. Um, what else we got? Level two flamethrower. Oh, plasma gun. That's right. Energy cell. Yeah, sure, why not? I suppose a flamethrower would probably still be better in this situation, just because uh, it would go through him. That guy was fucking cloaked. What is this, Doom? Oh my god. He's got swords for hands and he can go invisible. Is, is that natural evolution? Are we going to get an answer to this? 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I that was that was so rude. I took up my frustrations on an innocent bystander. I feel bad now. Here, I will scan you in penance. Geotrupex. The new Toyota Geotrupex for 2023. What the fuck? They think, okay, these guys, these guys can teleport. This planet sucks. Why do we want to move here? Can we colonize somewhere else? This is like 20... Was this really the only planet in like 20,000 light years? 20,000 light years. Oh my god. Hi, Iggy. Hi there. Oh my god. You can try to figure out uh, let me let me make let me make it so you're not floating, and then let me let me let me share my screen real quick. Uh, everybody say hi to Iggy. Iggy's here. Hi, it's me. It's Iggy. Let's see where is Iggy Head. Iggy Head is right here. Unlock Iggy Head, and oh, I gotta unlock the whole group, don't I? There we go. Is that how it works? Well, that that moved the whole group. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. I, I've i messed everything up. Oh, you're kind of I... peeking out of the corner. Oh, it's, you're just like you're a little, you're shy. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me share my screen here. Boop, 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 Well, hell yeah. Thank you for the advice, Mr. Riggs. That's very helpful. So guess what, buddy? It's my birthday tomorrow, so you should you should donate some money to this to this dot dang the uh, thingy thingy fundraiser. See my image light up, but no sound. I can see uh, but no s Oh! Uh, you know what? I, I might have done something stupid. Uh, try now. I'm testing and I'm listening at the same time. Well, nothing's coming through the Discord channel, which shouldn't work anyway. I heard that. Okay, well... Yep, it's my I sound on stream. Alright, cool. It was... Oh, it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> Erwin, that's not a joke. <laughs> well, I just laughed, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> punch, 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 punch. I'm detecting dangerous sun activity. Punch, you say. Ashley, there is no protected atmosphere over this desert. What? We're going to sustain damage. There's no protective atmosphere over the... Oh, no. The ozone. The hole in the ozone layer. The it's back. With a vengeance. It looks like the ozone is no zone. Oh no. So what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm searching for a uranium. The sun's activity is decreasing. Heat and radiation levels are returning back to normal. Ooh, okay. is idle. Select new technologies for development. This seems like a cool game. This is pretty neat. Yeah. Why won't you die? I, I know it can teleport, but can, can you can you just shrug off the effects of everything else too? Maybe. I sure I'm glad that Geiger counter clicking will never get old. You could just block my shit. What is wrong with you? Why are you so good? Stop it. 
Um, everyone has to have their Moriarty, I guess. Mine is teleporting son of a bitches, I guess. <laughs> Mo I think that's most people's Moriarty. Teleporting son of a bitches. <laughs> All oh, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Quit yes, reminding me. Sir. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, plasma gun. I should build that. Uh, let's see. What is this? Instant repair. Uh, oh, this must mean I get more of more charges at once. More more power. More more power. Yeah. Why do these guys have to be here? It's so hot here. In the game? Or no. in real life? Yes. <laughs> Both. I'm sorry to hear that. It's at that awkward point where it's like, one day it's going to be slightly below uh, room temperature, and the next day it's going to be slightly above, and it's like, oh, we don't have the HVAC set up for this. Oh, fuck. It's, uh, everything's too hot or too cold. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dan. I'm going to live in the basement. Oh, live in a root cellar, that's how you solve your problems. Pretty good way of doing it, yeah. Punch it in the butt. Punch it in the butt. Gotta find the rest of the arena so I can get the fuck out of here. I didn't run. Not all poems need to rhyme, zombie. Okay, Robert Frost. <laughs> He's actually my favorite poet. <laughs> <laughs> a new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Is that seriously still not enough? Oh my god. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh yeah, instant repair. Minigun? Jesus. Wow. I mean, I mean yeah. Uh, oh, I need, oh, I need better sword to get better fist, I see. I suppose that makes sense. You gotta have a better fist to hold the better sword. It's like in Morrowind. You gotta have Wraithguard to wield Keening. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> My notes just say wait for laughter, but nothing happened. <laughs> Oh my god, I still got... Jesus Christ. You know, I wasn't really paying attention to the mission briefing because there was a lot of stuff going on via v me dying, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I was actually supposed to kill that giant thing or do something else. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could also maybe make a plasma gun. That is a different type of damage that maybe some people won't be, you know, immune to. Plasma gun. I'm sensing slight tremors. They are intensifying over time. It looks like an earthquake is coming. <clears throat> New blueprints are available for crafting. The earthquake's epicenter is near our position. <laughs> earthquake's epicenter? That doesn't sound good. It's miles away. Why did you even tell me? Ah! 
Alright, I got... Did that just make the repair better? Because it seems like it's healing more. Let's see, can I... Spear, sword, dash cryo, cryo, dash fire. Can't build either of those. So yeah, it looks like I made my heals better. Alright, alright, alright. They're just gonna keep bugging me until I do it. Power fist, better, cool. Let's get a mod slot. Alright. The earthquake is over. The tremors are getting weaker and weaker. We should quickly repair whatever's been damaged. <sighs> if I had a base here, that might mean something. Oh, they're invisible, of course. Like all of God's good creatures are. It was his best trick. <laughs> the devil's greatest trick was tricking people into thinking he was invisible. Samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that can be mined autonomously. Now that we know the type of uranium ore that is present. Oh, I'm sorry. What did I do that for? Oh, buddy, no. No. Ashley, we can use the radiation signature of the uranium ore that we gathered to calibrate the orbital scanner to search for more significant. Why did I do that? No, I'm just punching things. Following a breadcrumb trail, but I feel that we're getting closer. Alright, I gotta get out of here before I kill any more innocents. I need a new fist. Power fist. Oh boy. Crafting completed. do we need to do? Oh yes, we need uranium crafting. I mean handling. Wowzers. Wait, can I do like I am Kibitz did? Let's see. Uh I'm not sure if they're both attacking. I can't just hit both. I mean, it looks like they are. 
Interesting. <laughs> I don't think I'll actually use that. I'd, I'd rather have a ranged weapon, but... Uh... Cobalt do we have? We are almost full on storage for that. Guess I'll see what other missions we have going. Tanzanite concentration. Launch fields of cacti containing tanzanite have been detected in the radioactive desert. Ah, oh, here again. Let's do rodent instead. A high concentration of red crystals containing rodent have been detected. Drift trip to this location to acquire large quantities of this resource. I like these oil painty backgrounds. Let's grab the geoscanner and start searching for treasure. Treasure? In the sludge, really? Is this going to go exactly the same as the last one, where I uncover, like, two caches, and then it's like, no, you got to go to the big area here to find the big one. Oops, there's a boss. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Uranium. Well, I thought that would take like 16 minutes. It didn't take long at all. What does this need? Oh, I need to build up bigger headquarters first. Okay. Well, let's get these then. Okay, I've peaceably scanned one of you now to kill the rest. Ashley, I have located a large condensation of rhodonite near our position. Really? I have marked its approximate location on our map. That's so far away. Excellent. We should gather as much rhodonite as possible. We'll use it later to craft better equipment. What was that? I've never seen it do this before. It's glowing red and clicking. Am I am I digging up landmines? What's happening? Maybe. Are these enemies? Like what happens if I Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> 
There are landmines. Nature's landmines. Nature's cloaking field. Nature's teleporter. This planet sucks. Ah, Jesus! No! We can try to recover it later. No! What the fuck? That was scary. Creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. Okay, can I, like, is it possible to see these before they explode? Uh, it's hard to see maybe there's like a, an upgrade thing that you should research for that? Maybe. Well, I mean, this this works, I guess. Ah! This thing looks like a mech. Oh, fuck this place! Make things easier for us. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Morning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Oh. Right, I got a feeling uh, corrosive rifle isn't gonna work too well here. Let's get an upgraded flamethrower. Hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. What? No! No! Everything is awful. Everything is awful. I can't even kill them fast enough before the new ones come, no.
new group of At least it hurts them too. Coming from a nearby nest. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Everything happens all the time. All the time, everything, all at once. Small mine. Nuclear mine. Uh, let's see. Flamethrower advanced. It has mod slots. Crafting completed. Winter mod range ammo. Oh, I can't get more DOT. That sucks. Uh, oh, I guess. Man, ammo cost would be good actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Oh. Wait, I'm doing it again. No, I'm just get, I'm I'm lashing out. I'm sorry. Really want what's in here. We forgive you. Thank you. Morning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Warning, 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 warning. Well, the technology queue is idle. 
Select new technologies for development. These guys never stop talking, do they? Research completed. It doesn't seem like it. They're pretty chatty. I, I turned off the uh, audio alerts for like resource storage is full because seriously, my resource storage is always full and they never showed up about it. But I kept on the warning ones like, you know, you're being attacked and whatnot because I figured it'd be important. But they don't stop with that either. You're just always being attacked. I'm just, we are, I'm always being attacked. Hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. This is supposed to be a happy place. Oh, my God. Uh, maybe I should. You know, I thought I was going, taking this game kind of slow and just like turtling up and researching stuff, but apparently not enough. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I kind of didn't want to do these missions because it's like, I, I'd rather stay at home and build stuff, not, not get my ass kicked out here in the open, but, uh, oh, hey, I'm back where I was. Wow, I didn't get very far. Look at all this purple stuff, it gets dropped. Yeah, I can't even attack anything, there's just like landmines everywhere! Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. The okay. Is idle. Uh, the yeah, yeah. And the, yeah, the technology queue is idle and, and the, the AI voice won't shut the fuck up. Tower. Sentinel Tower is level 3. Oh, I need something to help me now. Nuclear mines. I probably need uranium to build that. Minigun? Sure, why not? Hmm. You love the landmine, don't you, zombie? Oh, they're great. We should go there and clear Looks like you're right, Erwin. This will affect wind turbine power generation. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Warning, the sky is blue today. Oh shit. Uh, oh wow, I only have 4,000 animal biomass. I figured I'd have a lot more. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. Go there and clear them out, Ashley. Ashley, I think you should go there and clear them out. I wonder if I'm doing this wrong. Like, am I like maybe supposed to build a small base on these areas? They do have small amounts of resources. I mean, there's a geothermal vent there. The wind is coming back. Wind but I don't know what I would build that would help me. I'm already getting all the supplies I need from my main base. Morning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. God. 
Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. You should go there and clear it out. are available for cracking. <laughs> okay, let me research. Minigun. 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 Where is the minigun? There it is. It's so cheap. What do I get to the expensive stuff? Alright, let's replace this. This one doesn't have a mod, but it is higher damage. Oh, and it spins up instantly too. Cool. Warning: A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Oh, that doesn't hold much though. Oh, I'm already half through my ammo. Oh. The technology queue is idle. Select new technologies for development. Did you say technology queue? Power jump. Actually, what's this? Better legs make it high enough to produce a significant shockwave upon landing. Oh. Hey. Mm. That might be good. There, there, there's the, the tech tree is so big that I like I don't know what to pick sometimes because there's so like, too many options. Spoiled your choice, I guess. Hey, do you do you think uh, that 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 Goral stream team when when they have too many things to choose from? that they become goiled for choice? You know, they probably do. You're probably exactly right, Zombie Cat. Yeah, I thought so. No, you're innocent! I'm sorry! JESUS CHRIST! Jesus Christ, indeed. Morning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. <laughs> Don't be sad. Technology has been yeah, 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 okay. Right. Power jump, power, power, power jump. Okay, uh, did that get me anything else? No. All right, what is this? Skill that emanates a large destructive shockwave around the mecha suit, dealing area damage to enemies caught in the blast. But that hurts, right? Yeah, it does 600 damage. I don't want that. Titanium machinery? Building speed, movement speed... Maintenance tools. Lower building cost, lower faster building speed, I guess. Oh hey, here we go. Hey, regen. New blueprints are available for crafting. Warning. A new oh! I'm just gonna end up burning this whole fucking planet down. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. That's a stupid planet. Warning. A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. And yep, right here. Has been developed. Okay, alright. Craft it, put it in me. Uh Oh, power jump. I need to craft that too. Craft. Crafting completed. Okay, movement skill, power jump, equip. Uh, let's see. Repair tools. Craft. Crafting completed. Put Crow. it right in here. There we go. Okay. Slow regen, but regen nonetheless. Oh, I forgot! No! Oh. 
Oh, I gotta learn how to use this new movement tool. Uh... Oh, okay. This is a fucking battle of attrition. What, nuking it from orbit? Yeah. What? Be careful, actually. You never know what's around the next quarter. What is it? What is this? What is attacking me? Oh, there's just like bugs around me. Oh my god. Oh no. What, the one I'm next to? Gathered a sizable amount of road life. This should be enough to get enough? Good equipment. Is that enough? We can stay here and try to find more or get back to our primary objectives. Oh my god, are we done? Oh my god, we're done. Get all the goodies. What are these horrible little creatures? No. Okay. Okay. Oh the technology girls is a big jibba jibba just get the fuck out of here. All right, I can upgrade my weapon production facility and get a little extra, little something, Sound effect. All right, let's see. I need to upgrade tower ammo factory. That'll take more energy, but we can. I also take more resources, but that's fine. Uh, I got an ammo storage here and a couple more over here. Can I jump over fences? No, that would have been cool, but no. Oh, did I get anything else that I... Oh, yeah, I can upgrade these. I missed those last time. AI yeah, cores are up to date. Oh, I can do this. Upgrading your HQ incurs a large attack force. Uh, I'll wait until morning, which is just like a couple of minutes away. So that I'll have more energy. Oh yeah, upgrade the, the radars too. Oh, can I change this to uranium now? Let's see. Uh, unavailable in this biome. Okay, yeah, I'll have to do it in the desert. Perfect. Good timing. Whatever, I'm going with it. I got all these, got all that, got all these, got all that. Cool. Alright. wind is very slow today. Yeah, we know! D do you repeat everything Mr. Riggs says and vice versa? Jesus Christ. Yes. Headquarters upgrade in progress. Right, it's all coming from the right. Good, good, good. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. They might try and attack down here, so I'll build a few defenses. 
this away. Oops, it's alt, not shoved. Okay. See how these new walls hold up. Wind is picking up again. Oh, that's two groups. I better make even more here. Oh, I can destroy these? My sensors oh, sort of. Up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching. Oh my place. god. Okay, we're ready for them. Are we? I mean, maybe. It'd be funny if they tried to attack through here, which I guess they could. Are they going to? Nope, they're going straight this way. Ooh, they actually took down the walls and some towers. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. What's new, Pikachu? Oh, look at all that DNA. Uh, oh, it's done. Okay. Uh, so that gets us level five. Uh, actually, I didn't really unlock anything because I've already got all these. Okay. <laughs> What's this need? This requires headquarters level five to unlock. Ugh. Minigun towers. Heavy artillery towers. Fusion energy. Oh, nuclear energy, here we go. Requires uranium to operate, minus four per second. Let's go ahead and research this and uh, maybe we can get some uranium from the desert biome at some point.
grab the detritus they left. Man, I, I love how it just leaves like giant pools of vitreous fluid. Vitreous fluid is a real good name, or good, good word for things, you know? It's a good name for vitreous fluid, yeah. Well, shit. No, <laughs> I don't have anything to do here, so that means I gotta go on a mission. Okay, the desert. Maybe this will be our last visit to the desert before we can set up an actual outpost. Maybe. in this desert. It looks like one of those condensations is around a pool of liquid. We have to see this. Liquid in yes, the desert? That is odd indeed. The second location appears to be a bit more standard. It is a large tanzanite deposit hidden underground. It is spread out in a larger radius. Okay, we'll analyze it with the geoscanner as soon as we get there. We could harvest tanzanite directly from the purple cacti that grow in this area. If I could familiarize my resource extraction AI subroutines with this species, we can gather research specimens very effectively with the bioscanner. Bioscan, 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 bioscan. Extraction AI subroutines have finished familiarizing themselves with this purple cacti species. We can now extract tanzanite directly from these plants. I don't even know what tanzanite is. I haven't even come across anything that uses it. It's some kind of rock. On the other hand, I've encountered a lot of stuff that requires titanium, and we haven't even talked about that yet. these fucking plasma shoot motherfuckers. Why why'd we bother building technology when we could have just evolved it just as easily? <laughs> Oh. 
it's a little uncomfortable in the eyes. A little bit. I wish you didn't move so much, but you punched. Oh, you're you're harmless. You're not. I don't want this that bad. Oh, I gotta get used to this jump. It's not the direction I'm facing, it's the direction I'm pointing. That sounds fun. A little bit. How lucky am I? The meteors always go directly overhead. If only I had a camera. There's no landmines. Let's see, do we have Tanzanite listed on our resources? Yes, we don't. Unless, no, that's that's alien biomass. All it's showing is cobalt and uranium. Huh, whatever. Buildings are Orbital up. scanning finished. We've located <laughs> rich uranium deposits in a new planetary location. I have marked the rich jump coordinates on the orbital scanner interface. Cool. That's excellent news, Mr. Riggs. Let's go there to set up a uranium mining outpost. We'll finally have access to nuclear power and better weaponry. Guys are kind of beefy. Oh, hey, little fellas. Nothing here for you. Ashley, there's a lot of tanzanite in this area, but its concentration is so low that I will not be able to excavate it with my equipment. These cacti clearly like to grow in this place. They condense the tanzanite from the soil during their growth process. Unfortunately, these ones are too small to harvest any meaningful quantities of the resource. Oh. This might be where they introduced the concept of uh, harvesting and cultivating. I unlocked it a long time ago and kind of figured it out on my own, but this might be where it comes into play. An interesting proposition. Jesus Christ, what are these guys weak to? Nothing! Nothing. Oh, of course, bullets. I should have guessed. <laughs> Nicely done. You figured it out. You figured it out. I solved the puzzle. Most things are weak to bullets. This 
is an actual oasis. It looks stunning. These cacti are growing like crazy near this pond. They contain a lot of tanzanite. We can harvest them to gather the resource, as well as research samples. Samples. Mr. Riggs, I think I know how we can extract the underground tanzanite deposit. We can use the water from the oasis to power a cultivator. Uh -huh. If we can build a pipeline from the oasis to the underground deposit, we could speed up the growth of the cacti in that area. These plants will extract the tanzanite for us. Good thinking, Ashley. The pipeline is going to be long, but it will work if we can put it together. The mushbit colonies in the area will not make this easy. Oh, you want me to do it here, huh? Okay. We have to wait this out. Buzz, buzz. Mm, buzz. Okie dokie. Can I actually build anything here? Oh, I guess I can. I thought I needed uh, a thing. Biocomposter. Harvesting station. Gultivator. Gets me a hundred mud per second. That's a lot of mud. Yeah. I don't know how much I need. Let's see. Uh, we need a water filtering plant. That gives us 50 water a second. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operation is returning back. So I need a second pump. Then I need a water pipeline all the way across. the structure on quicksand. It is going to slowly Oops. sink into the sand. We should place extra stable floor tiles over quicksand to prevent sinking. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess that works. Okie dokie. Now we need a lot of power. Uh, I need this area clear for harvesting, so... Nice ugly base here. Jackal, Jackal Popad, uh, thanks for the raid. Hey, Jackal. What you been Welcome. up to? Well, hello. I hope you had a good stream. Do 
you able to do a, uh, a shout-out command? Uh, I can do a shout-out command. Thank you. Metal Slug X! Oh, cool! Oh, there we go. It just took a second. It took a snack. Ooh. Do pumps require power? I mean, surely they must, right? Warning! I'm detecting no. an intense ion storm coming our way due to a recent coronal mass ejection on Galatea's sun. It may disable some of our equipment. Well, thank you so much for the raid. Everyone, make sure you go and follow follow Jackal. Uh, there's lots of fun shenanigans going on there. Or we can automate the process by constructing additional collector stations. Do not forget about setting up. Yeah, right now we are just. Uh, What's this game called? Uh, the Rift Breaker. The Rift Breaker. Whoa, up, up, I keep forgetting it's alt to do the thing, not shift. Jack will finish the Metroid Prime playthrough and then move on to Metal Slug. That's good. Ooh. Metroid Prime is a good game. I need to I need to get myself to do that one again. It's been a very, 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 very long time. Oops. Oh, you motherfuckers! I'm good. I'm good. As long as you're sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I actually have to set this, don't I? Uh, oh, it's already set. Good. Okay. Right, I don't want any concrete around here. Get rid of this. Going for Metroid Prime later on. Excellent. Metroid Prime is also good. Or Metroid Prime 2. The words. You know, I've never played any of them. Uh, I, I think oh. the last Metroid game I played was um, either Zero Mission or Fusion, whichever came second. Um, I'm not sure which came second. I know Metroid Fusion came out at the same time as Metroid Prime because there was like a thing you could do with the Game Boy Advance thing on on there. You could like have the oh, yeah. fusion suit in Metroid Prime. Yeah, and you could like unlock uh, gallery pictures or something in the other. Yeah, so... Hmm. Something, something strange like that, anyways. What do you mean it's under attack? It's under attack, zombie. Well, I may not be able to shoot through walls, but I can punch them, so... <laughs> oh, 
Uh, why does it say it needs water? Oh shit, what did I do wrong? It's not getting enough energy. Oh yeah, it's, um, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Is two pumps not enough? I'm only getting out 50 per second. Did I mess up a... Ooh, Maybe I do a Resident need? Evil game with one of Jackal's models ported in. That's a good idea. Um, so we're, we're doing uh, some charity raising stuff for the entire for all of Pride Month. And uh, because we, we hit a goal, I will be doing a speed run of Resident Evil 2 Remake while also consuming hot peppers. <laughs> oh yeah, we were talking about uh, like what what kind of hot peppers. I mean, I'm white as the freshly fallen snow, so probably just like jalapenos. Maybe a couple of things hotter than that, but. Fair enough. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good time for everyone other than myself. <laughs> Good times, great oldies. Precisely. Okay, now I need some AI cores, if I can actually build any. Yeah, I can. Oh, cool. Wow, I thought I needed a, like a base base for this, but apparently not. Alright, why are you still not getting enough water? Oh, you, you are. It's, it's just vacillating. Okay. Base is under attack. Ooh, you little shits! There. That should handle this if they only are this strong. Sounds like uh that would be tempting fate there. Sure is. Uh I'm gonna build one more pump so I can get a full good amount here. Let's see. All right, that's making a good 200 water per second, I think. Upkeep, 100 mud. Oh, you know what? I think I actually need two of these. Ah, oh, shoot. X is not delete. <laughs> this is not Factorio. Filtration. Okay, yeah, this only makes 50 a second. All right. All right. I 
think I will keep going until I finish the mission here and then call it a stream. Yeah. Hopefully shouldn't be too long. In fact, you know what? I can speed it up. Whoo! Thing of beauty. The weather it's outside the is frightful. But the centuries are so delightful. I hate dust storms. Oh, I haven't actually built a harvester. I'm an idiot. I've just been cultivating. I haven't been harvesting. Uh, hang on. Harvesting station. There we go. All right, we got plenty of power to weather the storm. Plenty of centuries with room for more. Alright, uh, we're not getting anything yet. There we go. Getting around one tanzanite a second. clearing up. I can see everything again. Let's hope this doesn't happen again too soon. Let's go find out where they're coming from. Rugwig? Rugwig von Beethoven. Technically, that would be Rugwig. Rugwig. Not shift. So we can go punch some trees. Let's see if I can give our viewers a seizure, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's, no. uh, let's use the sword for a while. <laughs> At least until morning.
Prepare for an ion storm. This ion storm is really intense. It disabled a lot of equipment. It's really it intense. Oh, you're coming from the south now? Come on. Really? Come on. Really? That hurt. Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. That hurt. Four health. That's not a lot. One of our buildings has been destroyed. So I, I, I can't. There's no radar. Look what you've done to me. The number of charged particles has drastically decreased. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal. It's almost done, but I need to speed it up. Uh, did I set that up right? Four pumps and four water filtration stations, we should be able to do two cultivators. Which I don't know if that'll actually be fast or not, but we'll find out. Together, as a family. Satisfying. Oh, I should build a radar. Oh, I should make it level two. <laughs> Too late. getting enough water. Water minus 100, water minus 100, that's 200. Each filtration station does 50. Oh, they're not actually plugged in. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, why can't I build these?
Warning! I'm detecting dangerous sun activity. Ashley, what? there is no protected atmosphere over this desert. We're going to sustain damage. We're going to die. Huh. I don't know what that was all about. It must be some weird thing with Hopefully the this thing. Will not last long. Well, the thing with the thing is not doing the thing. I can't place anything down while I'm being actively damaged. Jesus! Solar radiation is getting back to normal. Oh, that didn't last long, fortunately. Filtration station. And you ruined my things again. Why did you do that? Are right, we good? All right, 200 per second, flow through the pipes. And they're both running, all right, cool. Look at all these mushrooms, look at them go. I'm getting attacked from down below. to start crafting new equipment. Ashley, we can stay here and search for more minerals, or we can return to our primary objectives. Excellent. We can craft some really good weaponry with this amount of tanzanite. If you say so. Oh, hey! Drax420, thanks for the follow! Well, that puts us, like, what, five away? Six away? From our, yeah. from our goal of 300? Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. Mic. You're gonna, you're gonna have to do uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, Mario Sunshine. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Really, I'll lose everything. Okay, whatever. I don't care about this planet. This, this, this location is stupid. All buildings will be sold. Whatever. I don't, I don't care. Anyway, uh, good night, Erwin. Good night. That location was stupid anyway. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. I, I probably should have just ended the stream instead of waiting for it to load and then ending the stream. <laughs> Maybe, but... Everything's fine. Oh well. We'll just go ahead and save the game. And uh thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank you for the donations and uh let me actually do the thing here. Way. Hang on, hang on, music. There we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you, uh yeah, thank you for thanking me, Medicine, and thank you for coming out for the stream, and uh, thank you to our subscribers who are scrolling from bottom to top, even as we speak. They keep us going. Uh, you can check out our Twitter account, at Team Retro Fox, to see when we're streaming. And you can check down below for our YouTube link, where we post uh, VODs of our streams within a day or two. Um, who should we raid tonight? Ooh, very good question. Yes. Uh, let me see here. Uh, anyone I know? Uh, not really. <laughs> anyone you know streaming? Um, let me have a looky look. Uh, I'm Chris Yim is doing. Oh, Rasta Kiki's doing Magic Gather. <gasps> let's do, yeah, let's raid Rasta Kiki. Let's, let's raid Rasta Kiki. Yeah. 
Raid Resto Kiki. Here we go. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 we're going. Okay, yeah, say, say hi, everybody, and uh, we'll see you probably tomorrow with something. I don't know what we're doing. Good night. Goodbye.